Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the in game by Non Typical Bag Company. And I must say, I really love this design. It's an awesome design. I actually went back and looked at some of their previous designs, other designs, and non typical offers, and they, they're really pop. They're really cool. If if having a bag that stands out is important to you, or the design of a bag is important to you, you definitely want to check this company out. But let's go ahead and dive in and break down this in game. We'll start with the materials on this, and these are two very popular materials, materials you see a lot, materials that most of you have probably thrown at some point in time. The slow side here is the Pro Advantage Vi Viking Fast Side. It is, you know, it's a fast but controllable material. It, it, it plays about a seven speed in, you know, normal dry conditions. Uh, it's very hole friendly. It's just, it's a wonderful material, and you see it a lot. You know, it's the fast side of a lot of slower bags. It's the slow side of a lot of faster bags. It's just a lot, of, a lot of companies are using this, and for the reason, it's, it's, it's a wonderful material. Fast side on this is the Pro Sniper Deadhead Viper Fast Side. It's crazy fast. It'll push through anything. It's a lot of paint work conditions. It's a nine speed on the fast side. So we're looking at a seven, nine. The template on this. So non-typical offers their bags in two different templates. They have a regular template, a larger template. This is the larger template. You can see there's, I don't think you can see, there's an L designating this as the larger template. I, 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 I say that they're all for them. I know the end game is all for obviously it's like the large team, but I, I I hesitate to say I didn't ask. I should have asked this. I think all of their all their bag models are available in the two templates. I, I'm not positive on that. But anyway, for the end game, that they do have a regular and a larger template. I like my faster bags to be a little bit larger, a little floppier. I like that. I think that floppiness helps with hole friendliness, helps with the forgiveness of the bag. I, and so I, I like that. As I get slower in my bag speeds, I want to get a little bit fuller bag because that's when I want to play more of a dirty style game and I want to use that fullness of the bag to shape shots, do stuff like that. Uh, but if you don't like a floppy bag, you, then go with the regular. It's just a, it's just a hair smaller on the template size, but it actually gives it a much fuller feeling to the bag. So if you don't like the floppiness, you don't like the looseness, go with the regular template. Uh, otherwise, if you like a little looser floppy bag, go with the larger. I, I love the fact they give you that option, right? A lot of times you get you buy a batch of companies and you have to buy the one template they offer. I love the fact that non typical is giving you a choice to pick which bag you like best and what fits your throw style. So um, kudos to, to non typical for, for making that option available to all of us. Now, anyway, the, 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 the larger template gives it this much floppier feel to it, which again, I I like the floppier feel my faster bags. I think it fits this bag and the bag materials and speeds perfectly. The still in here, I, I'm going to say it's a mixed fill. It's, it's, it's a smaller fill. I think it's mostly that disc fill, that flat fill that we, that we're used to. Uh, and a lot of bags, but I, I feel every now and then I'm feeling a small beat. So I'm not positive. It, it, without opening the bag, I don't know for sure. But it's definitely a smaller, finer fill, which gives you a nice fluid hand feel to it. right? So if hand feels important, you, you get that. It also gives the bag a softer landing. So it lands pretty softly, flattens out, runs pretty straight into the board. So you, you get very little to no kick whatsoever on this bag. And we'll, we'll talk about playability on this. And, and really... This bag is pretty straightforward. This is this is a bag that you're putting in the hole. You're just going hole for hole. You're trying to you're trying to outscore your opponent. You're putting your 12 points up everywhere on and hoping your opponent makes some mistakes. Um, I will say with the flop of the bag, and one of the reasons I love a, a, a larger, floppier bag and my faster bags is it gives this bag so much forgiveness. You know, I, I, again, I talk a time and time again about the landing zone and in, in, in that that rectangular shaped box. You want the bag to land in to get it in the hole. When you get a looser, floppier bag like this, you can really widen that landing zone because all you gotta do is just get this bag as it goes by, just this one corner, just as it comes by, get a corner just to dip in the hole. If you could just grab that hole, it's gonna spin around and come back in. I also find, you know, I talk about sometimes this 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 flatter fill. It tends to be tends to want to hang on the hole from time to time. For whatever reason, I find these looser, floppier bags don't hang on the hole as much. And I don't know if it's because there's the the, the bags not being full that it just allows more room for that 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 fill to to keep moving. I don't know what it is, but I just find these looser, floppier bags to tend to not hang on the hole like some of the fuller bags do with this flat fill in there. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a very forgiving bag. So you know, like I said it doesn't have much kick to it. So if you if you throw a bag that doesn't have it's not flat, right? You get some tilt one or the other. It's still gonna land pretty flat, run pretty straight up. As long as you can get it to a corner to catch the whole one side or the other, get it to catch. It'll spin around, come back in. Uh, if it does hang there again, if it's hanging on that back lip, it's a little harder to collect. Like like most bags are, it's not necessarily gonna walk itself back in from the vibration. Now now again, I'm throwing four bags. So if even my first bag hangs up, there's only three bags going in. If you're playing as an opponent, you've got twice as many bags going in. So if your first bag hangs there, there's a good chance it eventually will come back in because these two materials pretty slick. They're gonna walk themselves back into a point. So you know. When you put an opponent and you put the extra bags there, sometimes that hole friendliness gets better or the bags are more likely to come in. But later on in the round, if you put you know, your third or fourth bag up there and it hangs in the back, it's going to be a tougher collect. On the sides, the front, very easy to collect, especially the front, obviously very easy to collect. On the sides, you know, you, you can come in. The bags the bags do 
want to bunch, but because they're loose and floppy, they don't clog. They'll, they'll kind of melt right in. I don't, I don't think I had a lot of bags that I left around. They just wanted to catch the whole spin around and drip right in for the most part. Uh, this is not a bag that you're really putting blockers up with. Again, you can control this material and you can throw a blocker up there if you need to. You know, you're getting late in the game and you're getting behind. You got to manufacture points. You can put a blocker up. I will say this bag doesn't make a great, I mean, it's a good blocker in a sense. It's a it's a bigger template bag. The large template makes a decent blocker for visually, you know, making a visual obstacle for your opponent. But it's such it's such a, such a fast material on both sides. When it's there, it's not hard to push. It's it's not going to cause bags to kick off. It's just going to push out of the way. But where I think this bag shines is not so much in putting the blockers, but getting around blockers. What I love about a fast bag, and and you know, I've talked about I like the forgiveness. I like the whole thing. This you about larger floppier bag. But the thing you get with this larger floppier template is the get around. When your opponent throws a blocker up there, if I got an opponent throwing a sticky material or throwing some kind of blocker. I can just come in, either step out or, or you know, depending on where the block is, come in and, and, and almost bully into the bag. And because these bags want to accordion up, they're going to smash up and they want to spin around. They don't always want to push through, right? So it, it's a wonderful bag for playing that get around game and leaving your opponent's bags and you're getting around and you're just putting bag and bag in the hole. And if your opponent throws a blocker, again, because of the floppiness, the, the, the forgiveness, you can just come out, step out, and you don't even hit their bag. You can just come by clip that corner if you just like i said if you just catch this corner in the hole you can spin around and come back in it'll grab the hole and it brings it back for you. it's very forgiving bag so wonderful for getting around your opponent's bags again when i talked about the the, the blocker if you do get a bag you left up there you you can't you gotta be a little more intentional about collecting this bag if it is there you clip the corner they want to accordion it's harder to collect you just gotta come more in the middle to collect the bag this is not a bag that you're going to be doing a lot of cuts with. I mean, you can cut this material, but because it's got this this floppier feel to it and this softer feel, it, it doesn't want to make those hard cuts. You're going to make very subtle cuts, if anything at all, with it. Not a wonderful bag for rolling or flopping. Again, advanced players can roll flop any bag, but for most of us, we're not rolling or flopping this bag. You're going to you're, you're going to want a fuller fuller bag, a little more balance, a little more movement of a fill to it to get the roller flop in it. But again, this is a bag wasn't designed for that. This bag is designed for putting hole for hole. This is a PPR bag it's designed to outscore your opponents. It's designed to just put bags in the hole, all four bags in every round, and just let your opponent make mistakes. And it does a great job. I actually love throwing throwing bags, like, especially when I'm playing like ghost core hole, deck of rounds, round holios. This is the type of bag I want to throw because it it's so forgiving. It makes up for your mistakes. So availability on these non-typical has a Facebook business page as well as a fan group page. You want to make sure you like the business page and join that fan group. I'll put a link description to both of those uh, on there. In fact, on their business page, they actually have a speech art, which lists all the models that they, that the lineup they have, all the model bags with the speeds and the flop factor on there. Uh, so if you don't like the fast, faster option type of bags, but you want something a little slower, they have a good range of speeds, different bags. In fact, I reviewed the AKT not too long ago. I love that bag. It was like a six, nine speed bag from her correctly. I've got a set of whole magnets that I'll have a review coming out here very soon for you guys. It's got a six, seven speed bag, but they've also got some slower options as well. So definitely check them out. Send them a message to their business page if you want to order a set. They are, I believe they said 60 bucks for a set plus 10 shipping. So like $70, 70-ish dollars all in shipped to you. Very reasonable price. You're getting a high quality bag at a cheaper price. I mean, that's really on the lower end of bag prices nowadays. So definitely worth checking out at that price. If you don't have Facebook, shoot me an email. Mike's Cornhole Bags at gmail.com. I'll get you in touch with non-typical so you can get a set. I don't want you guys to miss out if you don't have Facebook. We'll, we'll get something worked out for you guys. But I thank you so much for the support and I thank you for watching.